You PlayStation fanboys said, let Naughty Dog cook, running on nothing but hope and one little measly piece of concept art. Well, let's see what your precious Naughty Dog has served up for you guys this time around, okay? Now you guys are aware of uh, what haunted me as a three-year-old when I saw an animated short for the first time. But hey guys, welcome back to the Cold Classic Cage Show. And today we have to talk about what I felt was the obvious news because, well, a few months back, Naughty Dog had announced that essentially The Last of Us Factions was on ice after it was assessed by um, the Destiny uh, devs. Uh, what are they? Oh yeah, the Bungie, the dudes that are also in trouble too over at PlayStation. Yeah, it, apparently Factions 2 was assessed by uh, Bungie to see whether it's, uh, I guess it was lucrative or not long term. And uh, it turns out the, the answer wasn't too nice. So uh, Factions essentially went on ice since then. A lot of hopefuls were like hoping that this game was going to come out, but uh, apparently it's been canceled. It, it has sadly been canceled. And look, man, the reason why I'm not even upset is because I already knew off the bat that this is where we were headed. Uh, naughty dog. Naughty dog. Pretentious, pretentious naughty dog and fart sniffing Sony, man. They just ain't got it together this generation. And it's just uh, to me, it's obnoxious at this point. I keep voicing the reality that this isn't the same Sony that we had last generation. And uh, people keep acting like everything's cool, but unfortunately, we're here now. And to me, look, man, I've been waiting for Factions 2 since The Last of Us Part 2 was being developed. That That's when they said that they were no longer adding Factions to The Last of Us Part 2. Um, instantly, my interest was dwindled. Now, I look, man, I love the, the Last of Us uh, Part 1 in terms of the, the single player, but what kept me there for like triple the amount of hours was that multiplayer. That multiplayer was really fun to me. I, I like the slow burn multiplayers as long as, uh, you know, they're pretty interesting. And, and Factions was pretty interesting to me. Um, I played it for hours with homies and I enjoyed it. So I was looking forward to Part 2's uh, multiplayer when they ripped it out and were like, oh, it's going to be standalone now. And I was just like, well, here we go, man. Here we go with the penny pinching and uh, being pretentious as fuck. And just to dive into the actual details with y'all, we got uh, Naughty Dog from last night, an update. And uh, he said, an update on The Last of Us Online. We realize many of you have been anticipating news around the project that we've been calling The Last of Us Online. There's no easy way to say this. We've made the incredibly difficult decision to stop development of that game. We know this news will be tough on many, especially our dedicated The Last of Us Factions community, who have been following our multiplayer ambitions adamantly. We're equally crushed at the studio, uh, at the studio as we are looking forward to putting it in your hands. We wanted to share with some background of how we came to this decision. And, and basically, here... Here's the corporate speak, I'm assuming, uh, to try and, and turn this into a positive, even though it's, there's nothing positive about this, sadly. They said, the multiplayer team has been in pre-production with this game since 
we were working on The Last of Us Part 2, crafting the experience we felt was unique and had tremendous potential. As the multiplayer team iterated uh, on their concept of The Last of Us Online during this time, their vision crystallized, the gameplay got more refined and, and satisfying, and we were uh, enthusiastic about the direction in which we were headed. In, ramp in ramping up the full production, the massive scope of the ambitions may become clear. The release in support of The Last of Us Online, we'd had to put all of our studio resources behind supporting post-launch content for years to come, severely impacting development on future single-player games. So we had two paths in front of us, become a solely live service game studio or continue to focus on single player narrative games that define Naughty Dog's heritage. Guys, you know what that says to me? And, and this really pisses me off when I read that. That says to me, we could not fulfill an ad adequate live service. So we canceled the project. They couldn't just put out a decent multiplayer and let it ride. No. It had to be a live service. This is what pisses me off. When looking at this project, if this project was almost complete, and the reason why they canceled it was because it's not a good live service, but it could have been a decent multiplayer that, you know, would have had it, it's a couple of years going and it probably would have been, you know, abandoned, whatever have you, uh, because, you know, Naughty Dog isn't exactly good at keeping up with their with their uh, multiplayer. Check Factions One, something that's super dead and effed up, and they refuse to update it uh, for fans. That's why I don't want to go back to it. But yeah, if this was a pretty much complete game, and the reason why it was canceled is because it's not a good live service. That fuck you for that. Real talk though, that is annoying. And you know, I I'm done with this talk. I'm done with the nonsensical speed. This is just sad because, like I said, I've been waiting for this since The Last of Us Part 2 was, was in development, was announced to have been in development. And the reason why I personally didn't buy The Last of Us Part 2 day one and waited until it was half off to me was the fact that they said there was no longer going to be a multiplayer involved meant to me that the game was only worth half the price that they were asking. That, that's how I've always felt. But you know what, man? All I could do is laugh because if not, I'd be upset. So let's laugh at some fanboys, man, because y'all wallet out here, man. And, and we gotta we gotta bring up the reality that per Persona Speaks over here pretty much brought this to fruition. <laughs> because literally hours before the announcement that The Last of Us uh, Factions 2 was canceled, um, he said, question to for the community with his uh fanboy nonsense. Which concept art do you feel looks better to you? Factions 2 versus Blade. And look, guys, to me, to me, I don't care about concept art. Show me gameplay. I'm not going to sit here and drool over concept art. This, to me, it's a joke. When talking about Blade, I was talking about what Blade needs to have as a video game. Until I see that in, in terms of gameplay, you could show me all the concept art in the world and I don't care. But fanboy's going to fanboy and they're going to, you know, ball gargle concept art of all things. And so that's why we are here. And it's just hilarious that that he had dropped this 10 a.m. yesterday just to be hit with factions two being canceled. <laughs> Yo, you gotta love it, man. And just uh, you know, shout shout out to Dirt Greedy here, cause homie. Yo, Dirt, your video is amazing. Thank you so much for this. All, all credit goes to my boy, Dirt Griggity. Great, great YouTuber. Definitely check out, homie. Where is Factions? <laughs> you told us to wait. We waited, and you're still not here. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. But yo, let Naughty Dog cook, right? Let Naughty Dog cook, man. Just just let him cook. And then we also have to look at we have to look at JTEC's reaction because it's priceless, man. It is priceless. Homie was talking smack about Game Pass as per usual, instead of being worried about tending to his own gardens in, you know, over in Ponyland. But uh let, let's check out how this right, went down. Hey, if we put this, it 
<laughs> lives. Okay, on, on JTEX channel, man. Oh my god, hold up, hold up. You know what? We we gonna do we gonna do cam no background for this baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. Game on day game pass and we release it day and date. We still see that there's a lack of sales from PlayStation. And I think they're understanding that when they announce a Game Pass deal, we don't buy the game either. So I think a lot more developers going into 2024 are going to stop putting games on Game Pass. Because Let's talk smack about Xbox. Let's just ignore that everything's fucked up over here on the PlayStation side, too. Because of that very reason. Frostbite. Oh, fuck! Yo. <laughs> Yo, man. Oh my god. That sounds like the yell of someone. I don't even know how to explain that. You would think that sadly he like hearing that reaction, you think, oh my god, his his wife just lost their child or something like that. No, he just found out that Fashions 2 got canceled, yo. Holy crap. I guess I guess it's essentially like, you know, his wife being PlayStation had an abortion. Sadly, he found out about it. Being factions too. Oh, no. The Last of Us factions just got canceled. Fucking bitch. Are you serious? What? You gotta, you gotta watch that one again. I mean, what did I say? I said this is the last week for business. Shit goes down. So I think a lot more developers going into 2024 are going to stop putting games on Game Pass because of that very reason. Frostbite. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, I'm dead, yo. I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh man, yo. Oh man. Y'all's tears sustained me, I'm not gonna lie, but look, I can sit here and tell you uh, I can give you the nor the speak, but I have to give a shout out to my boy BG. BG puts it perfectly on the problem with PlayStation fanboys and and yo, I I gotta give props for him. Shout out to Astro for clipping the vid, but I couldn't put it any better than how BG puts it here. So let's give him the floor. Find Naughty Dog Heritage. Naughty Dog's Heritage. They put so much sauce on that. It's disgusting. It's that's nasty work. Let me read that. This is nasty work. So we had two paths in front of us become a solely live service game studio, which you didn't have to become a live service game studio at all. Just release multiplayer regular or continue to focus on single player narrative games that have defined Naughty Dog's heritage. You see, that's nasty. Yeah, it's a, clearly it's just corporate speak, man. There, you're telling me you couldn't find an in-between, really? There's plenty of in-betweens. They could have made a bigger studio. They could have just made a multiplayer game instead of making a live service, but yo, let's do corporate speak. Y'all nasty for that. Y'all know what y'all doing with that. That's gross. Y'all disgusting for that. Y'all get no respect for that. And because they know they little, they little, they little bitch ass fan base going to eat that up. Yum, 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 yum. Like what? They, they going to eat that right up, right? Yo, Naughty Dog, yeah, that's right. Go Naughty Dog. Focus on single player games. Shut your ass up, bitch. Shut up. Ooh, Ooh with the spice on it, got no dog. spine. Y'all just go with y'all just y'all just run with whatever the companies and the overlords tell y'all. They they telling y'all, okay, single, you know, it's all about single player, and y'all just going, okay, cool. Y'all, y'all are not a lot of y'all not even gonna look at this like a failure. This is a failure. This is this is absolutely a failure. Naughty Dog has failed. And it hurts. It hurts for people out here to sit here and admit it. But look, man, y'all just keep eating it up for what it is. And, and y'all, of course, they're going to run with the narrative. Oh, man. Yeah, now they can get back to doing what they do best. We didn't care about that. We didn't care about that live service, man. To act like you wasn't sitting here hype as hell for factions, too. 
man. Y'all lying. I, I'm not saying it's all on them, but they have failed. And that's what it is. They have failed. Your precious naughty dog has failed. And what y'all have to look forward to? Well, you got your Last of Us Part 1 remake. Now you get your Last of Us Part 2 remaster. I don't know, maybe, maybe Naughty Dog will drop a, you know, a new game by the end of the generation. I mean, it's it's sad because all this time and effort went into factions and that doesn't even come to fruition, man. And, and really, I would have been completely fine with it being a multiplayer. I, I would pay full price for a multiplayer game, not a live service game. It, it's sad that they really just tossed that away like that. But yeah, guys, we're here. But you can continue to ignore the reality of the situation. But man, this is this is a different Sony. This is a different Naughty Dog. And your boy Neil Druckmann, man, he got your back. So y'all claim. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Once they said it was on ice, it's like, yep, it's over. It's over. And and, and y'all for here pretended. Pretended saying let Naughty Dog cook. Yo, all Naughty Dog cooked was y'all. That's what it is. But if you can't like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me over on Twitter or Kick. If you'd like to continue the conversation, consider becoming a channel member. Uh, basic, you know, channel membership gets you instant access to the Discord. Hit the bell notification. Uh, less than 20% of my subscribers are actually getting notified of when my videos go live. So, man, it's an equivalent exchange, everybody. You're subscribed because you want to see my videos, and I make videos I want you to see, so. Definitely hit the bell notification. And yeah, guys, well, being said, I'm out. Peace.